Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie once more. I want to give a shout out to my boy, Gator McCluskey. You can follow him at Gator Sports uh, for making that intro. I love it. All right, let's get into today's show. We're going to get into Richardson Hitson, one of my favorite fighters in the world at 140 pounds, as he takes on Gustavo Lamos, a really, really good 140 pounder from Argentina. Um, I'm going to get into this. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently bring down the house betting on the sport of boxing. There's always a bull market somewhere. Uh, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, I'm losing my brain here. Also, join the Patreon. The link for the Patreon is in the description, just $5 a month. Uh, you can also find it on this banner. Uh, the link is in the description. You get the lock of the week. You get a ton of other perks. You can ask me to handicap anything. Obviously, we have some fights tomorrow with Jamel Herring. Let me know what you guys uh, want. And uh, join the Patreon. I'll break it down. I'll show you how to make money on every single fight, uh, how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money. Uh, you also get a free T-shirt. You get a ton of other stuff as well. You get a... Uh, Losing my brain here. Ask me anything. Free t-shirt. Whatever you guys need. Join the, the Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. Richardson Hitchens is one of my favorite fighters. I, I think Richardson Hitchens may or may not be the best 140-pounder in the world. Super quick, talented, twitchy, great speed. Great from long range. His power is underrated because he doesn't really push for knockouts. He's elusive, uses the ring. Like I said, super, super sharp from the outside. Pours range shots in from the outside. Controls the distance. Creates his range that he wants with his feet. He's always in rhythm. He mixes up his shots well. I can't say enough good things about Richardson Hitchens. So good at maintaining that range and distance. You fight on his terms, at his distance. Period. <coughs> Quick, precise combinations. Doesn't waste a lot of energy. He can get in, get out. He can maintain distance. Uh, he prefers, like I said, he prefers to be at long range. His power is underrated. He's got some pop on his power. You're not going to just walk in on him, although he doesn't push out, from, push for knockouts. His power reminds me a little bit of Caleb Plant's, where, like, Caleb Plant at 168 didn't get many knockouts. But you couldn't just walk in. And when he needed to get the knockout and stuff with Thrill, he could do it, right? Like, no one's going to say Caleb Plant's a, a big hitter. He, he, he's a big crack. But he, he's got that. And, and I feel that way about Hitchinson, too. I think his knockout percentage is a little misleading. Obviously, excellent quick feet as well. Great timing. Terrific counter puncher. Not a huge volume guy. He doesn't put enough combinations together before, besides one-twos, right? Like, I want to see more. I want to see lead hooks followed by right hands, double up the hook, throw to right. I want to see more of that. But there's really not much to dislike about Richardson Hitchens. Uh, from a talent perspective, from a fundamentals perspective, he's really as good as it gets. I, I think Richardson Hitchens is probably right there with Devin Haney as the best 140-pounder in the world. Um, Gustavo Limos. Uh, a lot of y'all might not know who he was. I was not familiar with him. He's got a win. He's got a destructive win over Lee Selby uh, back in 2022. About two years ago, he fought uh, just once in 2022. Then uh, took about a year and nine months off, and he fought late in 2023 uh, and got a win over someone named Javier Jose Clavero in one round. So in the last two years, he's fought just one round. Uh, he's fought twice in 2021, once in 2022, once in 2023. So inactivity has been a little bit of a problem for him. But if you, you, there's lots on him on, on, on YouTube and on Daily Motion. You can get a lot of tape on him. I've been studying his tape. I like him. I think he's pretty good. 
Uh, he's a seek and destroy, come forward kind of guy. He presses the action. He's constantly pressing the action. He slips punches pretty well. He's pretty flexible. He moves well. He doesn't come straight in. He gives you head movement. He ducks shots. He slips shots. Uh, he gets a little wild and sloppy. He leaves himself open. And I, I think against a counter puncher like Hitchens, that's going to be a problem. But it's a good body puncher. He throws everything hard, uh, constantly putting pressure on you. He doesn't jab it up for my liking, especially if you watch the Selby fight. If you go earlier and you watch the uh, Maximiliano Ricardo Verone fight, he jabs a little bit better. Still not at the level that I want to see it. Uh, but the guy's obviously he's got good volume, and he can hit, and he can slip shots. Right there, he's a dangerous guy, right? And if he was fighting someone other than Richardson Hitchens, he would have a real chance to win. I think this is a top 10 type of prospect. I really do. This guy is good. It's just the wrong matchup. He's fighting Richardson Hitchens, who I think is, who I think is the best guy in the weight class, besides possibly Haney. His shoulder rolls too, but he's not hyper athletic. Like he does some things, he has some skills. I, I don't think they're all going to translate that well. I like his footwork. He throws everything hard. He's just relentless, high volume fighter. Uh, mixes up his head and body, attacks the body really well. He's a really good finisher. He can switch to the southpaw stance too. So you can see like there's a lot of skill in him. Uh, I don't think he should should mess with that. I think he's just slam on the gas. Try to make Hitchison's life hell. Get in his kitchen, and and, and but again, Hitchison moves so well. I like I like the most. I just don't see a path to victory for him in this particular fight. Other guys in the top ten, in the top fifteen, I think this guy has a legitimate chance. I just don't like the fight with Hitchens. Although I think it can be an entertaining fight. I think he's going to have moments. I think it's, there's going to be times that he makes Hitchens uncomfortable because he's. As, I'm telling you, this guy is good. Go watch his tape. He's an excellent, excellent seek and destroy kind of pressure fighter. Good feet, fairly athletic, good head movement, uh, excellent body puncher. There's a lot to like about him. He's just he's going to be a, little, a step too slow and a step too a step too uh, sloppy defensively, and that's ultimately going to be the difference. Um, but I think this is an entertaining fight, and I think the odds are are not indicative of how good Lemos is. So let's 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 take a look at the odds here. I'm going to show you how to make money on this fight. I wish the odds were a little closer because it is a good fight. Hitchens is at minus 750. I think that's too wide, but it is what it is. I also like the over. I don't, I, I think that we're going to see Hitchison in survival mode, kind of. He's going to be on defensive mode, precision mode. Uh, he's going to try to keep Lamos away from him. I don't think he's going to engage. Therefore, unless Lamos knocks him out, I think we go the distance. Um, and the odds for the distance at minus 135 over over 10 and a half is uh, 50 bucks. So here's what I like. Uh, Hitchinson at minus one fifth uh, at minus 750. I'm going to make a one and a half times bet. Uh, that's going to make us 20 bucks. We're also going to take the over 10 and a half on a half bet. That's going to make us $23. So between these two bets, with $200 bet, we're going to make $43, which isn't terrible. We're bringing down the odds about four and a half to one. In our favor, right? So, like, if you, if you put these odds together, you know, you'd be looking at about minus 450, which is what you're getting for Hitchison to win late. If you want to, you could add this instead. It doesn't change a lot, right? It, it, it makes you $37 instead of $22 on a $50 bet. It does make you more money. If you guys want to do that, I like to just to have maybe – a stop it late if it's, if it's a beat down. I, I don't think so. I, I actually think this is a really good bet. You guys should probably take this bet. Minus 135 on Hitchinson. It's probably a really good bet. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Uh, it's a simple bet. Hitchinson one and a half times on the money line. Makes you 20 bucks and over 10 and a half. We're gonna make half a bet, which would be 50 bucks, which would make you 20 to 23 dollars. Uh, so we're gonna make 43 dollars on that bet. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow the boxing bookie, all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description. You can see it right there. You get the lock of the week, you get all the perks. Just five dollars a month. Uh, you ask me anything, handicap a fight. Like I said, we got fights coming up. That I'm not gonna be able to get to make a video on, but if you want to make money on it. Join the Patreon. Let me know. $5 a month. Um, I'm also going to look to join, start a Discord. 
with my guys. I would like to uh, start a Discord so you guys can ask me questions on a fly, live betting, certain thing like that. Um, also, join the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene All proceeds, on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. It is April 2nd, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.